In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to resize an SVG file from 3dsvg.com, also known as Dreaming Tree. The first thing that I need to do is bring in a file, and there's many different ways to do that. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and it defaults to the last directory that I was working on, and I'm going to click OK and bring in my first file. Now I do need to click on it to make sure that it's highlighted. I'm going to go over here to my right hand side panel and I'm going to open my transform panel. The second tab with the double arrow is going to be the scale tab. And so you can see by default, you can scale 33%, 50%. It's already at 100, that's why it's grayed out. You can do 200 and 300%. You can also manually type a percentage in here as well. So for this example, I am going to scale this down. So I can scale it down 50% by just clicking the 50% tab. And you'll see that that was scaled down 50%. If I clicked undo, I could additionally, let's say I wanted it 45%, I could type 45 in here and click apply. And that would move that down to 45% of the original size. Now you do need to do this for each and every element in the project. So I would go File Open. I would pull up my next design, make sure it was highlighted. Now this already has the default of 45%, which is great, and I just need to click Apply. And that would also resize down to 45% of the original size. File Open, grab my next design, same thing, highlight it. It's already defaulted to what I had last time, apply. So now each one of these are 45% of the original size and they are in proportion so that they will all fit once cut and assembled. Additionally, if you only had a few files to work with, you could import them all onto the same mat. So let's do that. So if I say file open, and I navigate to a project that I know has just a few elements, so let's do the acorn truffle box and I can select my first element and it is centered on my mat. If I said file merge, I can go ahead and click on my second one and it will move that onto my mat. File merge. I can do the acorn olive and it moves it to my mat. File merge. The acorn orange pattern is now on my mat and file merge the leaves red pattern and click OK. Now all I need to do is highlight all of these and I can go ahead and change my scale to what I needed to and click apply and everything is scaled in one shot. Now in order to cut these you will just want to move the elements off the mat that you are not using right at this time and then you can go ahead and cut one at a time. When this one is done cutting, you can move this one off the mat, bring in the next one, move this off the mat, bring in the next one, and so forth. 